I can't move. I'm lying on a cold floor, the sun shining on my face, looking up at the ceiling in a rock climbing gym in San Francisco. I've just free fallen 15 feet, landing with a thud. My arm angled unnaturally behind me, my mind muddled from the impact. I can feel the warmth of the morphine injection radiating up my neck, and I can hear the paramedics calling in a suspected spinal fracture. I'm terrified. As the team moved me onto the stretcher, they asked me, what do you do for a living? And I said, I'm a musician. The reality? I wasn't a musician. I was a pharmacist and a consultant. <laughs> my dreams of being a musician had died in my teens. But in the pain and fear of that moment, I intuitively knew music was going to save me, and so I embraced my inner musician. Music is a reliable pathway to joy. It brings us to those moments that make us feel most alive. It brings us to joy even when our situation is something else. Music can situate us in the present while triggering memories that soothe us so that we can find the resilience to keep going. Joy comes to us in moments, like the moment my kids were born. I was so overwhelmed with love that it almost hurt. And so I tried to recreate that feeling with them to connect and bond, like scaling a climbing wall. But, of course, that always has its consequences. But life is finite, and we want to create those memories. Brene Brown tells us that joy comes to us in ordinary moments, but we get too busy chasing down the extraordinary. And music? Music connects us to those times in our life we are emotionally bonded, like the birth of a child, or our first kiss. Joy lingers in the same places that music touches our heart, and the years in between seem to fall away. Like personalized sonic medicine, music can give us what we need in the moment, like our coffee to wake us up in the morning, or a glass of wine to relax us in the evening. It reaches us beyond conscious thought, lighting up the same parts of our brain as cocaine, chocolate, and sex. No wonder it brings us joy. <laughs> Have you ever been driving in the car and a song you love comes on the radio, and in an instant, you're rolling down the window, singing in full voice, feeling joyful and free? Yeah. No pill works that quickly. <laughs> okay, what about that breakup song? You know the one you listened on repeat to heal? Interestingly, it only takes 13 minutes for music to release feelings of sadness and less than 10 minutes for music to bring on feelings of happiness. No wonder we listen on repeat. Music allows us to savor our emotions, triggering cathartic releases. This is where we find joy. on that cold floor, in that climbing gym, I intuitively knew music was my connection to joy. I just didn't know why or how. With elbow reconstructive surgery behind me and, a, and my spinal fracture ruled out, my arm was encased in a Borg-like exoskeleton for six long months, and I had to relearn how to use my body. So what did I do? I tried to play the guitar because it brought me joy. And I healed my connection with music. Experts tell us that joy collected over time fuels resilience, giving us reservoirs of emotional strength to draw on when hard things do happen. My own experience proved this. I was lying on that cold floor, but remembering the love of music that soothed me, giving me the resilience to keep going. Music is sonic medicine. 
So choose a song and let it take you to joy.